want it, get it, don't ever give up, you got it, you want to make it, then chase it, no one can stop you, stop you, they're gonna hate you, hate you, but let them hate you, this fine, cause if they stand in your way, then you gotta leave them behind. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Samar Burns and welcome back to the South Alabama Dynasty. I am sorry I have not gotten this episode out earlier, but I have had some major computer problems lately and yeah, so that's the reason you haven't been seeing these, but this one should be going up, well, today as you're seeing it, and Bowl Week should be going up right after. I know uh, that Ian already has both his Week 14 game and his Bowl Week out, and that is my fault. Really, I just haven't had the <laughs> computer capacity to get this out in time and it's really just it's been a problem but uh, I seem to have it fixed and this should I should resume being on time uh, with my uploads so we are in week 14 it is senior day and we got a great group of seniors going out this year we got our star quarterback Bilal Marshall got two great receivers and Matt Harris and Kyle Clifford got some good defensive players going out so it's definitely a tough uh, it's gonna be a tough senior class to lose for next year but it's it's been awesome to have them these, la these last three years uh, four years really that I've had them uh, so yeah so you'll go ahead and look at the bowl projections. You see, we're projected in the Gator Bowl against Michigan, but we got to win this game first against Vanderbilt on our home field. It's Senior Day, so let's get right to it. NCAA football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Vanderbilt's just been unable to put together four quarters. We take little snippets out of each and every game during this losing streak, and it looks like a pretty good football team. But mistakes at crucial times have doomed them. Can they finally clean up their act and get this thing going in the right direction? That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. All right, so starting off this game, and it is senior day, and we are underway. Kyle Clifford, the senior wideout, to return the kick. Two-time return of the year is going to take this one up the left. He finds a gap, and he's going up the left sideline, out across the 50, out across the 40. No one's going to catch him, and Kyle Clifford opens up his senior day with a kick return for a touchdown. One of the greatest kick returners in college football history right there is going to go ahead and get that. Most likely going to be winning his third straight returner of the year award. Uh, all, he's won it all three years. If, if he does win it, he'll have won it all three years that he's been at the school. But second down and nine for Vanderbilt. And Jordan Cum Cunning Cunningham is going to get the reception right there. 11 yards. First down and 10 now. Robinette is going to hand off to Webb up the middle. And he's got some daylight. And that is going to be an 18-yard game for Raphael Webb. And now here is Robinette once again. He's going to fire for Weaver, who's going to get down around the 10-yard line, taken down at about the 11. That is a 17-yard reception right there. Now Robinette back to pass. And he's going in the end zone for DeAndre Woods. That is an 11-yard touchdown. Down and Vanderbilt is going to tie this game up behind the arm of Patton Robinette. What a strange name, but he gets the job done. So second down and ten now for Bile Marshall. He's going to find the senior Kyle Clifford on the right sideline. That's a 12-yard reception for Kyle Clifford. And now it's first down and ten. Marshall going to be taking this one himself on the read option. Bile Marshall's had himself a sensational career here in his two seasons at South Alabama. He is the longest tenured quarterback in South Alabama history as our first two, uh, at least in this dynasty's history, our, our first two quarterbacks were only here, uh, at least in this dynasty, for one year. So this is his second year, and it's been not as good as his first year. He won the Heisman last year, um, but definitely didn't didn't uh, you know step up to the expectations that we had for him. We just haven't, I think the move to the SEC definitely hurt that, but you see Robinette just continuing to shred our defense as Weaver is going to get the first down right there. Mac Weaver with a 10-yard reception, his second of the day. And now on second and two, Robinette is back to pass, and he's going to fire on the left side for Carlos Burst. A three-yard touchdown puts Vanderbilt up 14-7. And now Bilal Marshall on third and six is going to find Kyle Clifford on the sideline right there for 12 yards. 
And now on first and 10, Marshall is going to keep this one on the read option and go up the middle. That's a pretty good gain right there, and that is a 12-yard gain for Bilal Marshall. And that's going to bring up a first down. But we would end up having to punt like we do. We've ha we end up having to punt like we do so often. Um, you know, the last couple weeks. I guess I guess last week we did pretty good, but you know there have been games where we just struggle to convert on third down, um, and this is one of those games. So first down and ten, as you'll see right there, Raphael Webb getting 14 yard run, and that his Roman Buchanan's fifth tackle of the day. So we head into the second quarter, still a pretty tight ball game, 14-7, but Vanderbilt is driving, looking to make it a two possession game uh, here in the second quarter. We'll see if they can do that, and we'll see if the Jaguars can get back on track. So second and eight, Robinette back to pass, and he is going to find Mac Weaver once again, and this is another first down for Vanderbilt, and the Commodores are going to get in the end zone once again. Marcus Gray with the 14-yard touchdown run is going to give Vanderbilt a 21-7 lead here over the Jaguars, and once again, we go three and out, and a great punt return gives the Commodores some great field position, and Vanderbilt is going to get eight yards on the play right there. Now second down and 14 later in the drive, Patton Robinette back to pass, and he's going to fire on the right side. Touchdown, Carlos Burst again, 28 yards on that one. As you see, Patton Robinette, 14 for 14 so far on the day. Now third down and one, we actually... I have a chance to convert here, and Bilal Marshall is going to do so, and he's going to get about 17 yards on the play, gets up, but isn't quickly knocked back down. But again, we have to punt, and Vanderbilt is going to try to take advantage. A nine-yard reception right there for Thomas George, and now third down and 10. Robinette in the shotgun, back to pass, and he is going to be almost sacked, probably should have been, but it's intercepted by Devin Earl, and that is going to be returned to around the 30-yard line, a little past it. And that is the first turnover, turnover of the day for either side, and that gives the Jaguars a chance to get one more score here before the half. So a minute 54 to go. Bilal Marshall back to pass, and he's going to be rolling to his right side. He's going to fire, hit as he throws, and he finds a senior wide receiver, Dejan Funderbunk. 43 yards on the play right there, and now it is first down and 10. Marshall is back to pass. He's firing on the right side for Matt Harris. That is a 22-yard reception right there. And now first down and goal, Marshall in the end zone. It is Brian McIntyre for the touchdown, and that cuts the lead to 28-14, just a two-possession game here, a minute 25 to go. And just like you would expect, Vanderbilt drives down the field here at the end of the half and is going to go ahead and fire in the end zone. That is, once again, DeAndre Woods, his second touchdown catch of the day, is going to give Vanderbilt a 35-14 lead heading into halftime. Um, I believe there, we do end up uh, completing one more pass, but we do not get the touchdown or a field goal on the ensuing play so there you see it right there Dennis Lundy is going to end off the half with a 34 yard reception but we don't get anything out of it so Vanderbilt heads into the locker room with a comfortable lead right there 35 14 of 21 points on the home on the home uh, Jaguars right now and senior day definitely not going how we want you see they're shredding us up in almost 300 passing yards in the first half uh, the rushing yards, not as much of an issue, but still, they're just shredding us through the air. Uh, Robinette is just, he, I don't even know if he's turning a complete pass yet. But you see Robinette right there. Finally, we get to him. That is an eight-yard loss, and that is, I'm not sure who that was that got the sack, but it was a big sack indeed. So third and 13, a chance for us to get the ball back. But once again, our defense fails us. As you'll see, Vanderbilt getting the first down once again. That is Raphael Webb on the screen pit on the screen pass. Now it's third down and eight, and Webb once again gonna break a tackle. And our defense continues to just fail us at times when we need it. As you'll see, Raphael Webb getting 11 yards right there. Now first and ten, Webb going up the middle, and he is gonna get eight yards on the run right there. As they're continuing to put a dent into the Jaguars. Um, to the Jaguars' seven-win season dreams. But you'll see right here, Raphael Webb getting 10 yards. And this is, I thought this was a pretty big game because we came into this game 6-5, and five, and 7-5 and would have guaranteed us a bowl spot. And if you remember, we went 6-6 six and six in year one and didn't end up getting into a bowl game. So I figured, I mean, I, I know we're in the SEC, so I think 6-6 six and six is good enough. Uh, is going to be good enough to get us into a bowl game, considering we're in the SEC, but I feel like, um, I, I'd rather, obviously, I'd, anyone would rather be 7-5, but we're down 42-14 to 14 now, and this game is really getting out of hand, 
as Bilal Marshall and this offense just can't find anything, really. As you see, Dejan Thunderbunk taken down by his face mask right there, and we get the call. As you'll see, personal foul face mask. That is going to be a 15-yard penalty on Nigel Bowden, and we'll go ahead and accept that and give us another set of downs, a chance to get on the board once again. And now Marshall is going deep, and he finds Matt Harris, the senior, inside the 10-yard line. Matt Harris with the 28-yard reception. That is his third of the ball game. Now first down and goal, Bilal Marshall in the shotgun, audling to another play, back to pass, and he's going to find Kyle Clifford, who's going to get in the end zone for the 9-yard touchdown reception and bring us within three scores and now Robinette is going deep and he somehow gets that one to DeAndre Woods I'm not sure how but it does find the receiver and now second down and one Robinette is going to keep this one on the read option go up the middle and he is taken down by Roman Buchanan but not after a 12 yard gain and we head into the fourth quarter down by 21 points this game really is out of hand we've come back from deficits like this before but I just haven't it just doesn't look like we've been confident this entire game. I don't know if you guys have seen that uh, as well. But uh, Vanderbilt's going to go ahead and get a field goal out of this drive. And they're going to go up 45-21, a 24-point deficit. And then you'll see later on another drive that we have later in the game, Caleb Blanchard is going to get in the end zone on a screen pass. We would end up going for two to try to cut it to 16, but would not get it. So 45-27 is your score, five and a half to go. And once again, Vanderbilt's going to get into the end zone here as I believe that is Marcus Gray getting in the end zone, a 17-yard touchdown run, his second of the day, I believe. And that's going to be 52-27, and nothing would really happen after that. We would just trade turnover. I would... Now, I would turn the ball over. They would have to punt. And you'll see Pat and Robinette with a huge day as the Vanderbilt Commodores come into uh, South Alabama and beat the seniors 52-27. to Kyle Clifford had a pretty good game. Blount Marshall had an all right game. But overall, our defense just didn't play well enough to win, and our offense just couldn't keep up with Vanderbilt in this game. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Sucks to lose, but... Yeah, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.